Today on It's Alive, we have musical guest Adam Rappaport, and we're going to be making a little beet kvass. It's a fermented beverage, usually just beets, but we're going to do our own little riff on it today. I'm going to add a little bit of sumac, and then we're going to add a little bit of fresh... What is that? We're getting there. Jeez. All right, first step, uh, I got my little cutting board here. You can use any cutting board, but, uh, you know, the red, the beets, they really tend to stain. I'm going to throw a little gloves on just to, uh, you know, just I don't go messing up and staining my hands. Stain your hands, ruin your day, Vinny. So we got our fermentation jar, one gallon. I scrub these. I'm not going to peel them. Uh, and you can throw all, you know, all the scraps in. You just want to cut it up and you want to expose it, open it up. I read not to shred it or grate it or anything like that, but just to cut it into small pieces. Ooh, look at that, Vinny, this knife. All right, Be beets are hard, Vinny, you know what I'm saying? But I got my veg cleaver here, I sharpened up real nice. Watch this, boom. Ain't no thing. Come on. Boom. Half knife, half bench scraper, you know what I mean? It's the best tool you can have. All right. I'm also going to throw the little vegetal tops on there, too. Again, I don't know if that's, you're supposed to do that, but I like to. I think it'll add just a little bit of a different flavor. It might help with, the, with you know, starting off the fermentation. And actually, I would love to know what, uh, you know, some folks who did grow up with kvass, what you like to put in it or, you know, some of your methods. Uh, let me know in the old comments. I love those. Yeah, so this, you know, just cutting up beets. Okay, nice, nice little beet party. Bop, bop, bop. Boop. This might be a might be a lot of beats. Hold on, man. Yeah. Audible. I made this a couple times, once or twice before, and I think I made it a little too concentrated. So this was two and a half pounds of beets. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna divide it into two jars. You know, not by weight or nothing, just by eye. Alright. Yeah. Good enough for the folks we roll with, Benny. Alright? Next. I got our chili peppers. I'm just going to slice them up, chop them up. Boom, boom. Not even fancy. Seeds and all. I want this to be a little spicy. All right, split just like that. Boom. So here I got a little dried sumac. Kind of tangy, a little fruity in a way. It's a very interesting ingredient. I love sumac. And I think it would go great with this because the beets are sweet and earthy. And as it ferments, it'll give off a little bit of lactic acid. But I feel like the sumac will really help bring out a little fruitiness and um, some acidity. So we're going to do not one, but a two tablespoons per, per unit. Okay, boom. All right, I like that. For this size container, which is one gallon, I'm going to add one tablespoon. And we're going to do two tablespoons of salt. Well, a little shy there. Sorry, Ben, we're going to use something else. <laughs> two tablespoons of salt. Oh, Mr. Adam Rappaport. Serenade Molly. No one ever serenades me, Vinny. All right, cool. Now we're just going to do a little lukewarm water, Vin. Hold on, Vinny. To the lab. Got suits, Vinny. Oh, there it is. Let me give that a little rinsey poo. I'm going to throw an airlock on this bad boy, okay, Vinny? Just like that. I'll get another one for this. Rattlesnake. No, that would suck, huh? We'd be in bad shape. What do they say? You got about 30 minutes on a rattlesnake bite? So you got to get the, uh, the anti-venom? That's what we should name this show, Vinny. Anti-venom. cool is that? That'll be our band. Ah, who's playing tonight, anti-venom? What do they do? Shred beats? <laughs> oh, here all day, folks. All right. So that's that, Vinny. We're going to put that over there in fermentation station. Like any fermentation, test as you go. Keep an eye on it. How I like it might be a little different than how you like it. So make it to how you want it. That's the beauty about making things, okay? You can make it how you want it. What's today? Wednesday, Vinny? We'll come back on Monday where we're going to strain this, put it into a fermentation-grade bottle, like a beer-making bottle. I'm going to hit it with either a little bit of honey 
or maybe a little bit of fruit juice or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. We're going to figure it out. All right. He's going to come to me in my sleep and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll bottle this up and see what happens. We're finished with our first fermentation of the kvass. I hit it with about, must have been about two and a half, three tablespoons of uh, sauerkraut juice that I had from an old ferment. And that just acts as a little starter, help things get going. You can use whey, you can use any, any good culture liquid that isn't uh, pasteurized. We're not a big fan of the pasteurization here. Oh, imagine I dropped that, oh God. That would make such a mess. All right, I'm glad this happened, Vinny. <clears throat> Check this out. You see this on top here? I right, don't go call 911, everything's gonna be fine. What this is, is just a common yeast. That it's everywhere, it's in the air, it's even got a name. I think it's called like Cam or something. You don't wanna fact check that. What you can do is just try to scoop some of it off. I'll put it right on this little pad here. Look at that color, huh? And you don't have to go nuts. You don't have to go getting it all out. Just try to get as much as you can out. And again, completely harmless. No big deal. Clean up aisle two. So now it's done fermenting. We're going to strain it. All right, I got this cool little system, this little jar I got. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pour this right in. Hope this works out. Uh oh, abort. Okay, I feel like there's probably a better way to do this. Oh well. Not that bad. It's fine. Now, you don't have to go throwing away these, these beets that we fermented, fermented beets, right? Throw it in your salad, throw it in your soup, throw it in your stew. I don't know, you could probably try roasting them. I don't know how that would work, but worth a shot. Put that one over there. Sorry, stay with me, stay with me. Let's give this another shot, huh, Vinny? Oh man, I really blew it. We're gonna do this. A little improv Im improvise, Vinny. A little splatter guard, duh. Installed. Ready, Vinny? We're just going to do this. We're going to pour this right in. Oh, shit. All right, no one said this was going to be easy or clean, all right, Vinny? But we'll get there together. Let me just clean this up, all right, because we're making a mess. A little Zamboni. Pop, pop, pop. Wipey, wipe. Let me put a lid on this before we have a freaking catastrophe. Now, what do you say, Vinny? Should we try one of these? Fermented beet with uh, Fresno and sumac. Ooh, oh, it's, it's soft, Vince. Wasn't expecting that. Pretty good, almost. Hey, Andy. Yeah. So these are the beets that we fermented already from the kvass. You wanna give it a try? How hard is it? Soft. Just push on it with your teeth. What's the matter? Oh, that's right, you got mouth surgery. It's not crunchy, really. It's not um, hard. So this is the byproduct, but no reason to throw it away. Yeah, pretty neat. We'll fool around with that. A little bit of what? Vinegar and salt? Call it a condiment. We got our kvass here. Now, I'm going to taste it like this. Traditionally, um, oh God, you just let it go until your desired taste. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little riff on it. Uh, I got these bottles here that I've, you know, same that I've made to do with tapache or kombucha when I made a little bit of simple syrup, just as a little bit of a, a sugar. We're going to put the kvass in the bottle, do a secondary fermentation. The simple sugar is going to be the fuel to help carry along fermentation and produce the carbonation. Excuse me. But before we do, let, let's test it as it. Let's taste it as is. Okay, going in. Ooh. Ooh pretty good. Got a little tanginess to it. Very earthy. I mean, it's going to sound stupid, but it tastes like beets. It's quite nice. Now, like I said, traditionally, they, people, you could just drink it like this. You know, take it's a little elixir, a, magic, a magical health elixir. Apparently, it can be really good for your, your liver, your kidneys. Uh, it's good for helping your blood carry more oxygen. Win, win, win all the way. Hey, what's up, bud? So, yeah. What was I saying? Let's do two and a half tablespoons simple syrup. And that's our little food for the army, all right? We're going to keep the party going. And then this nice little spigot, we're going to go ahead and just pipe in the kvass. Oh, that was a lot easier. Now you're going to want to leave head space too, because we are trying to carbonate this. Beautiful. Look at that color. Cap it, leave a decent amount of head space, and hopefully that should uh, continue to ferment and produce a carbonated beverage. We'll also leave some in this vessel, 
in the walk-in that people can just top off their drinks with. You know, it's great. It just, you know, a little seltzer with some lemon or something. You know, add it to a cocktail if you wanted to. Just add it to, say you have a big, big glass of water going. Um, add a little lemon, add a little bit of kvass, you know. Everywhere you can, just get a little extra. All right, man, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill these up and uh, hit them with a little simple syrup and uh, check back in in one week, buddy, and hopefully we'll get some carbonation. One week, Vinny. 17. Whoo. Oh, Vinny. Hey, bud. All right, guys, so it's been one week since you looked at me. All right, moment of truth, Vinny. Oh, Jesus, Christmas. Oh, Jesus, Christmas. Carbonation, Vinny. <laughs> All right, bud. I'm going to reckon that that was a success. Oh, whoa. Very vegetal. Oh, it's so, it, it's not bad. It's just very weird. Because it starts off, you're like, ooh, this is going to be a little sweet. But it hits your head. Let me do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. Because it starts sweet, and then it's like salty, and carbonated, and beady. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Right off the bat, I kind of knew it. It's a little salty. So we started, we fermented with a 2% salt solution. I would probably kick it down to one. And then the sumac, you know, I would probably up a little bit of sumac too. You, know, you can, this is a base recipe that you can just kind of fool around with. But like I said, I keep my little project notebook and then you make adjustments, you make changes and that's how you learn. So we're gonna learn together. The principle worked well, we got the carbonation, we got a nice sweetness, we got a nice floral. I would probably dilute it a little bit more since I, I mean, it's, it's super red. If you were to water it down and find a sweet spot where you can make just a nice drink where you can just, you know, sip on it like it was kombucha per se. This as of right now is not that. I would not want to drink an entire glass of this. It's something that you would nip on it. It's a little tonic. It's a little health elixir. Good for cleaning the kidneys, I believe, and the liver. Uh, we all know we could use a little bit of that. But you know, this would be nice too. You can add this, add this much to your normal drink. You know, you have a little lemon water, uh, add a little bit of this to it, add some color, add a little probiotic benefits, add some flavor, or just nip on it. You know, I think it would be fun to cook with too. I think you can use it in a base for certain sauces. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this again. As for now, we're gonna write that one off as a success. Carbonated kvass. Cheers, bon appetit. Wow, come here. Here, taste the kvass. What is kvass? Well, taste. It's beet soda. Beet soda. I'm into it. It's All not right. bad, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, Lau. I knew I liked it. Oh, it chunked it. <laughs> yeah, Lau. All right, see? Proof's in the pudding. Approved. Oh, Claire left. Damn. Got a question for her. No, I know what it is. I just, it has a name. You know how I am with the pronunciations. Damn, girl. It's like a horror movie snow globe. Today on It's Alive. I notice on some shows they introduce themselves a lot. Like, hey, I'm Brad Leone. I never do that. You ready? No, we've never made this before. <laughs> Only once. What could possibly go wrong?